I recently made a huge mistake. No, 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 I'm not impressed, I'm not impressed. I did a video talking about the God Machine and I got the versions of World of Darkness mixed up. You can see that video over here. I have to cross because I'm holding hands with the microphone. So I thought that maybe we can appease some of the old World of Darkness fans, new World of Darkness fans, because you're all in different camps, with this video about the differences between Demon the Fallen, Demon the Descent, and a brief explainer about the old World of Darkness versus new World of Darkness. I also have to do this because my ADHD brain only retains this information or learns it if I have to do this for a video format. It's... I'm a weird dude. And after I've covered these differences, I will explain my viewpoints on the whole thing and why I feel the way that I do. It's probably an unpopular opinion. Some of you may not like it, but that's just how I feel about things. First off, let me explain the difference between Demon the Fallen and Demon the Descent, then I will cover five aspects that each game covers and how they handle them. First off, what is Demon the Fallen? Demon the Fallen is part of the World of Darkness setting. It is its own game. The characters that you play are angels who have fallen from heaven because they sided with Lucifer in the Angel God War, and they were cast out. Demon the Descent is from Chronicles of Darkness. This is the new World of Darkness setting, the one that Onyx Path Publishing took over and started in about 2014. For this title, the Descent part of the game refers to the angels being exiled from heaven, having to live on Earth after the revelation of the God Machine and rebelling against its programming. This will lead us into our first major difference between the two games, and that would be setting. Demon the Fallen happens in the world of darkness, but it happens at a time when demons have been imprisoned in hell for thousands of years and now they are being released and or escaping to the mortal world. The prison that they escaped from, their hell that they escaped, was the abyss. The abyss is a horrible place that is hidden deep beneath the lands of the dead. If you're familiar with Wraith, this would be the lands of Stygia. And over the course of thousands of years that they have been trapped, imprisoned, tormented in this hell, tormented in the abyss, they are twisted. And the only way that they can remain in the mortal world is to find a host who can support their essence. Now in Demon the Descent, this is part of the new World of Darkness line, demons have always existed alongside humans, and they've just never really noticed. These demons are referred to as the Unchained. They were once angels. However, when they became aware of the algorithms of the God Machine and rebelled against it, or even just questioned its purpose, they were cast out from heaven and have existed on Earth since that time. And the Unchained, or the players in this sense have to decide what makes the most sense for them. The second major difference between these two games is the fact that in Demon the Fallen, most of the lore is based around the Christian mythology. The demons in this game interact with humanity in one of two ways. They can reap faith from them, so if they have become a deity or something to be worshipped, that's something that can sustain the demon, or they can engage in pacts. and they get servants this way. In Demon the Descent, the lore around the demons has been changed. Instead, other various folklores and mythos explain the demons as tricksters or deceivers. You will find that in Demon the Descent, the God Machine is referenced quite a bit. And speaking of God Machines, if you wouldn't mind helping me out with the algorithm of the YouTube gods, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that would help bless this video. And if you want to see more World of Darkness from myself, then please hit subscribe with the bell notification. I would love to have you join me at the table. Now, in terms of character creation, the mechanics of things, the dice pools are going to exist in both games, Demon the Fallen and Demon the Descent. Those will function as most people playing World of Darkness will be familiar with. However, it's the character creation process, the things that are important to them, the things that drive them, their motivations. This is where things take a bit of a divergent step. In Demon the Fallen, player characters will choose which 
fallen house they belong to. Each house has their own unique powers, their own unique abilities. In Demon the Descent, player characters will decide which of the four agendas they are going to follow. These agendas shape the character's goals, it shapes their desires. And these desires can run the gambit of hedonism to outright war against the god machine. In terms of mechanics, there's not going to be a huge difference between Demon the Fallen and The Descent. It's the internal struggles, the character development arcs, those are going to be the things handled very differently between the two systems. In Demon the Fallen, player characters have to come to terms with their demonic powers and having a general life on Earth. In Demon the Descent, the emphasis is more around hiding your true identity among your neighbors, co-workers, as well as struggling to find your place in society. And this will bring us to another difference between the two games and how they handle things. Tone. Demon the Fallen is darker, it is grittier, it is more gothic, it is more exploratory about the struggle between good and evil. Demon the Descent, on the other hand, has a totally different feel from The Fallen. It is a more urban fantasy kind of feel. It will largely focus around themes of deception, of espionage, general struggling to survive. It's also going to be tone that is the biggest distinction between Old World of Darkness and New World of Darkness. Old World of Darkness games were Vampire the Masquerade, Werewolf the Apocalypse, Mage the Ascension, Demon the Fallen, those among a few others. All of these settings were dark. They were gritty, gothic horror, a supernatural take on the modern world. In Old World of Darkness, all the games, while being individual to themselves, you didn't need to have all the core rulebooks to play them. They stood on their own. They were part of the shared setting. Many people ran and still do run multi-splat games where you can be a werewolf and a vampire and a mage and a mummy and a demon all together. The New World of Darkness is known as Chronicles of Darkness. I've seen some references to it like this as New World of Darkness, but most people just seem to use Chronicles of Darkness or Sea of D. Some of the games that can be found in the new versions are Vampire the Requiem, Mage the Awakening, Werewolf the Forsaken, Demon the Descent. Rather than being one shared universe, each of these games were individual, they were stand alone. And the role playing elements were shifted to less of a grimdark setting and more to personal horror and character development. Chronicles of Darkness was also designed to be more accessible to new players. There was simplified rules, there wasn't as much lore to consume. And this is the biggest sticking point that I have seen when people talk about Old World of Darkness versus New World of Darkness. The lore just isn't there. Now as for my personal feelings on the matter, I don't care if anything came from New World of Darkness or from Old World of Darkness. If there's something in the game that I like, I will want to talk about it, I will want to do a video about it. And to me, it's all the same. I will try to be more clear in the future for things that I'm talking about, whether it comes from Old World of Darkness, New World of Darkness. I know that by saying that, that's not going to sit well with some folks. I don't like to get into edition wars, especially if we compare this to something like Dungeons & Dragons, which is currently up to its fifth edition. Those who have been playing Dungeons & Dragons for a long time, they have things from multiple editions that they can pull from, and if they like it, they will use it in their modern games. Some still use the first edition rules, some still use third edition rules, because there are those who only see them as editions. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite version of Demon is. Is it The Fallen? Is it The Descent? And if you want to learn more about the God Machine and can handle me saying it's from Old World of Darkness when it's not, click here. Thank you all of my patrons for supporting me and the channel. My name's Nathaniel. Thanks for stopping by everyone.